for the past three weeks, the bulls have been out of the bull pasture and up here by the big house in the upper corral getting beefed up, so to speak, so that they will be happy and healthy throughout the spring, summer, and fall. They beef them up by feeding them alfalfa and what's called range blocks, 33-pound blocks of tasty, nutritious food. Of course, they left a huge pile of bullshit in the corral that I must rake up. I don't have time to make yet another video about free energy claims. However, I see there is a pile of free energy bullshit ten times larger than what's up here in the upper corral. Therefore, I must refute the fucking itty... Well, I'm going to be polite, okay? I will refute the poor, misguided, confused soul who claims, and I want to get the claim right, that he has a motor, a, ma a magnet motor, magnetic motor, that when he puts in 0 0.01 watt hours, which is 36 joules of energy, he gets out 0 0.04 watt hours, which is 144 joules in actual fact. If it is putting out 144 joules, it must put out more because it has to oppose friction and drag in the atmosphere. So he is getting out more than four times the energy that he's putting into it. Bull fucking shit! Whenever a person measures a device and more joules is coming out than going in, one has either made a calculation error or a measurement error. There will always, without any exception, be less joules coming out of a device than goes in. That includes super cold, super conducting devices in a frictionless uh, environment, such as the vacuum of space, you will still get less joules coming out, no matter what the fuck the device is. You can never, ever get more energy out of a device than it goes into it. This is fucking obvious. If the right side of the equation is greater than the left side of the equation, you did the fucking equation wrong! <sighs> I feel so much better. Now I need a cigarette.